Overview of Las Vegas Real Estate Market in 2017 In Overview of Las Vegas Real Estate Market in 2017 video, we will discuss 1. Decreasing inventory of Las Vegas homes, condos, and townhomes listings that are listed in the Las Vegas MLS. 2. Significant increase in sales activity for homes and especially condos and townhomes. 3. The effect of decreasing inventory of active listings and increasing market activity on the median sales prices of Las Vegas houses, condominiums, and townhomes, especially for condos and townhomes. 4. Median days on the market for lower priced homes versus homes that are priced above $425,000 which is the conventional loan limit, to show that competition for luxury homes is not as fierce as lower priced homes. 5. Why the median sales price gains are not universal and don't apply to luxury homes. 6. Finally, our prediction for the Las Vegas real estate market in 2017. A few years ago, foreclosures and short sales were the dominant factor in the Las Vegas real estate market. But in the past couple of years, the shortage of active Las Vegas homes, condos, or townhomes listings in the Las Vegas MLS, along with severe shortage of auction properties, has been the controlling factor in the Las Vegas housing market. Active listings refer to listings that are not under contract. We are writing this report on December 26th, and active inventory of Las Vegas home listings stands at 6,150. At the end of November, we had 7,252 listings, and that was 30.3% below November of the previous year. We currently have 980 condo and townhome active listings in the Las Vegas MLS. At the end of November, we had 1,141, and that was 49% below the past November. Needless to say, Las Vegas home sellers are not rushing to sell their property, especially in November and December, and these numbers will go up starting in January 2017. However, the 12 months rolling averages for single family homes is down by 13% from 2015 and condo inventory is down by 23% as well. Six months supply of homes and condo listings that are not under contract is considered normal. By the end of November, the inventory of single family homes in Las Vegas at 2.6 months was down by 36.6% from November 2015, and the same for condos and townhomes was at 1.9 months and was down by an unbelievable 56.8% from the past year. As we discussed in the Las Vegas real estate market September 2016, about 70% of Las Vegas real estate market activity goes to Las Vegas homes that are priced below the FHA loan limit of $287,500. Of 6,150 listings that are not under contract on December 26th, only 2,600 are priced below the FHA loan limit. 1,700 out of 2,535 homes sold in November were priced below the FHA loan limit. That puts the active inventory of these at about 1.5 months, which is extremely low. The next number that seriously got our attention was the 2,535 home sales in Greater Las Vegas in November. This number is 31.8% higher than November 2015. Condo and townhomes sales are closely behind with 31.2% increase in market activity. We have seen too much up and down to really get excited about these numbers. However, this is a strong signal about the strength of the Las Vegas housing market in 2017. Year-to-date rolling averages for Greater Las Vegas single-family home sales are 6.7% ahead of the previous year, and condos and townhomes are 16% ahead of the previous year. Needless to say, the laws of supply and demand rule supreme and shortage of listings along with stronger demand has resulted in increasing median sales prices of Las Vegas homes, condominiums, and townhomes. The median sales price for single-family homes at $240,000 is up by 7.9% so far in 2016. However, the median sales price for underperforming condos and townhomes at $120,000 is up by an incredible 20% in the past year. Aside from the chronic shortage of greater Las Vegas condos and townhomes, increased Las Vegas real estate investor activity has pushed prices up. 
Las Vegas condos and townhomes still provide for 1 to 2 percent higher cash flow than sing good single family homes. They are far cheaper than houses as well, and investors who are shut out of the single family home market due to higher prices are buying condos and townhomes. Let's talk about why the median sales price gains don't apply to all price ranges. The median sales prices that we have discussed include all homes and all price ranges. One of the biggest mistakes that less knowledgeable realtors make is to think that median sales price gains are universal, and if, if it is up by 7%, they need to raise asking list prices for more expensive homes and condo condominiums. We see $100,000 price drops for some of these listings, followed by more price drops. All that tells us is that the listing realtor had no idea how to price their listings. When a home or condo is on the market for a while and has several, several price drops, all it attracts is vultures with seriously lowball offers, thus losing the seller tens of thousands of dollars. This graph shows days on market before going under contract for Greater Las Vegas homes. Check out how quickly homes that are priced below $300,000, which is close to the FHA loan limit, go under contract. Houses that are priced from $150,000 to $250,000 have been going under contract in less than 20 days and if priced right with multiple offers. The next price point is $425,000, which is the conventional loan limit. Houses that are priced in the $450,000 range sell in about 40 days and days on the market go up to 60 days for luxury homes that are priced $900,000 to $1 million and 80 days for multi-million dollar mansions. Given the lack of fierce competition, Las Vegas homes that are priced over the conventional loan limit do not appreciate like the former. Next graph shows median sales price gains for homes that are priced below the FHA loan limit for 2016. It started at $194,250 and ended at $206,000 for a 6% price gain. Now check out the median sales price of homes that sold for more than the conventional loan limit. It was at $548,000 in January 2016, went down to about $520,000 in the summer of 2016, went up to $550,000 for one month, and is right back in the $525,000 range. As you can see, there is very little price gain in this range. What is the overview of the Las Vegas real estate market in 2017? Barring a significant increase in the number of active listings in the Las Vegas MLS, which there are no signs of, the Las Vegas real estate market in 2017 will be similar to 2016. If you are planning to buy a home that is priced below the FHA loan limit, especially in the $150,000 to $250,000 price range, then we predict that you will be paying at least 10% more by, by the winter of 2017. However, homes that are priced above the conventional loan limit will see little price appreciation. If financing is involved, the Fed has raised the interest rates by a quarter of a point and is planning further interest rate increases this year. Beware that a 1% increase in interest rate roughly equals 10% sales price appreciation. As far as Las Vegas condos and townhomes are concerned, prices will keep appreciating until cash flow gain from investing in them comes down a couple of points. Another 10% or more in price gains in 2017 will not be surprising at all. We have discussed the Las Vegas high-rise condo market separately. Lastly, if the previous Las Vegas real estate markets mm -hmm. are a guide, the first price gain will come in February 2017, followed by bigger price gains in April through July. So if you want to buy a house, condominium, or townhome, you will be far off better far better off buying before March 2017. We hope that you liked our video about the overview of Las Vegas real estate market in 2017 and find us worthy of your business. If you want to buy or invest in Las Vegas Henderson or North Las Vegas homes, condos, or townhomes, please call us at 800-762-4917. Please like, share, and subscribe to our Las Vegas real estate channel for upcoming videos. We no longer put all our videos on YouTube, so please visit our website and blog for our latest videos. On behalf of the Sauber team, this is Kieran Sauberzade of Realty One Group and www.lasvegasforus.com wishing you a great day.